Okay, flying fans, we are going to talk about adverse yaw. Let's define what it is, what it does, and how to get rid of it. Adverse yaw, first of all, is uh, pretty simple to understand if we break down the term. Adverse is not good, and yaw, turning moment. So, adverse yaw is a turning moment that is not good. Pretty simple. How is it, what does it do? How do we get rid of it? This is our airplane wing here. We have our aileron, our right aileron, and our left. The right one is down. Bank wing is banked to the left. And the left one is in the up position. So this would uh, obviously indicate that our angle of attack has changed on the right wing tip. It has gone up. Our lift has increased, gone up also. And our induced drag has also increased. What is induced drag? Well, let's break it down. Induced, you caused it, and drag, the enemy of everything in aviation, keeps us from going fast. If we put our hand out, we've created drag. If we throw a parachute out, we have induced drag. If we change the angle of attack of just one wing, we have induced drag. This is exactly what we've done in banking to the left. Now, let us draw airplane with the top view over here. Same left wing, same right wing. Here's our ailerons. Right. The right one is still down, the left one is still up. We're still in that same left bank. Here's our engine cowling, our propeller. And this is, one, this is one of the best airplanes I've ever drawn, I think. This is our elevator, in case you can't tell. And this is our rudder. I would hate to be the test pilot for this plane because it probably wouldn't fly very good. Anyways, so as we induce drag on this right wing tip, it's being pulled back. I think everybody can understand that, right? Angle of attack is increased. Lift is increased on this wing. Induced drag is increased. Induced drag is increased, as depicted by this arrow. So what happens? Well. Because this wingtip is receding and this one is progressing, or however you want to say it, the nose wants to turn to the right, and it does turn to the right. So what we have to do is, as we roll into the bank, as we in, as we roll into this increase of angle of attack and lift and induced drag and all that stuff, we need to counteract this adverse yaw. There it is. That's what it is. Adverse yaw is that turning movement in the opposite direction of our bank. So, banking to the left, we lead with a little left rudder, we bring our nose back to the right, or back straight ahead, and now we're in coordinated flight. Obviously, as we relax the ailerons, once we're established in this bank, we don't just hold the ailerons because we'll just keep rolling. As we reduce and the ailerons are back neutral, then we can neutralize our rudder because we don't need to hold for that yaw anymore. So that's adverse yaw. That's what it is. That's what it does. And now you know how to get rid of it. Just lead a little bit with the rudder in the direction that you're banking and adverse yaw will go away.